Hi, I'm Steve. I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 1978 GMC Birchhaven. So very cool vintage motor home. Uh, definitely this coach, I, I think you could say it's in need of a restoration or it's you know got some definite wear and tear, but uh, great opportunity to get something like this. I know these are really iconic, uh, so somebody's gonna really be happy with this coach. Um, so I'm not an expert on these Birch Havens, so you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think this is the short wheelbase GMC. Uh, all right, let's have a look around it. Okay, I drove it, it drove beautiful, uh, but the tires do look older. They do look dry rotted and they look like they need to be replaced, but they still, they went down the road smooth. Uh, just very cool. You know, it looks like somebody repainted this panel but you got these cool GMC style locks. Um, you know, I, you know, people that know a lot about these coaches know that a lot of this coach is made by GMC, which is cool. Um, the airbags look like they're holding air. They did put Schrader valves and a cutoff valve so that you're not using the auto level system. And then, nothing there all right the back looks good doesn't look damaged got these cool uh, van tail lights on these on the GMC which is nice and it looks like here here's where you hook up your water and there's where the um, 110 volt cord is and here is the generator so just a nice classic Onan 4,000 watt generator. Uh, we, we fired it up, it ran great. So I don't know if it's charging to the coach, but it definitely ran okay. So this side looks good. Few touch-ups on the paint, nothing major. And then of course the uh, airbags again on this side are, have Schrader valves and they've got cutoffs. Uh, all right, this is the LP tank. And then here's the fuel fill. And it looks like, as far as I can tell, both front windshields don't have any cracks or chips. So that's probably a good sign. Uh, the front end's got some wear and tear on the decals. And there's a, a little crack in the fiberglass here. Oh, actually, that's how it's normally cut out. Cancel that. All right, let's take a look inside. All right, got this cool step. Got this like peach co colored carpeting, which is awesome. So like peach and white, uh, great color combination. All right, in the front, got a CB, a track. So good stuff there. And then of course, got your classic GM keys and ignition. This is Oldsmobile powered. This has the 406 Olds in it. So. And then uh, just under 45,000 miles, uh, or at least that's what it reads on the odometer. All right, let's take a look in the rest of the layout. Actually, let's just point this out first. Probably the worst condition issue in the whole coach is just that this panel is soft and the cabinetry here is loose, like it's coming down, it's gonna come down eventually. So, but that's all, can be repaired. All right, so solid surface counters, they look to be in good shape. Got the classic old four burner range with an oven. So I got the exhaust vent here, roof air conditioner, got this cool storage area with these awesome cabinets, and then more storage up here. All right, this sofa looks like it does something, like it might hinge into a bunk or something like that. And then, um, yeah, old school fridge. So it looks kind of dirty. And then you got this cool gauge panel with all these analog gauges. And then in the bathroom, um, got the nice vinyl covered toilet seat, so you, you can't live without that. Got some storage back here too. So extra hubcap, a few odds and ends. And then it looks like there's some extra panels, a refrigerator cover, and I'm not sure what this is, maybe some sort of spare tire mount. 
So that's the inside of the Birch Haven. Uh, let's go take this for a drive. All right, we're driving in the GMC. We're going 55 miles an hour. Uh, I gotta say, the RV drives great. The, uh, the steering, the brakes, the transmission, all feels good. Uh, there's no vibration in the tires. Goes straight down the road. So whoever gets this coach should love it.